Hello there, this is AP Under Nate. Today we are doing something different. We're doing a fast food restaurant tier list. So anyway, I have this stack of fast food restaurants here. So anyway, it looks like we're starting with Wendy's. So anyway, Wendy's, they are a fast food restaurant that mainly sells burgers. They are known for their burgers. Like they have their Dave's Burger and then they've got like the Baconator and stuff. They also are known for the Frosties, and I've been to Wendy's a couple times, and my experiences have been pretty good. I'm going to put that in the B tier. The variety is pretty decent, but could be better. B tier. <laughs> Tim Hortons. This, I have a Tim Hortons cup right here, actually. Tim Hortons, they sell all sorts of good stuff. They've got their donuts and pastries and things sandwiches, coffee, this, honestly, S tier. My One of my favorite fast food restaurants, if not, actually it's pretty much my favorite. Can't really beat Tim Hortons easily. Next up we have Taco Bell. I've never really, I don't think I've been to Taco, I haven't been to Taco Bell in a long time, so I don't really know what it's like but I have heard a lot of things about it, and from that it sounds like a pretty B-tier restaurant. <laughs> oh yeah, and the prices in Tim Hortons are alright, the prices in Wendy's are alright. Alright, Subway. Subway makes sandwiches. You can customize your sandwich and put anything you want on it. That's crazy. There aren't any other restaurants that do that. Just kidding, of course there are. But anyway, Subway is one of the big ones that does that. I, I have uh, had some pretty good experiences with Subway. One of my favorites, A tier. Starbucks. Basically Tim Hortons, but with not as much variety, and it's like three or four times the price if I if the prices are that I've seen are normal prices. Pretty garbage fast food restaurant. I would never go there. McDonald's. McDonald's is a pretty solid fast food restaurant. They're known for their burgers, of course, and they're known for being unhealthy. But I gotta say, I do enjoy a good McDonald's burger every once in a while. I kinda wanna put it in the A tier. Oh, they're also super popular. And they have their McFlurries. And I kinda wanna... And you know, Wendy's and McDonald's, it's pretty controversial putting McDonald's above Wendy's. I know. But, you gotta say, even though Wendy's never freezes their meat, McDonald's does have more variety than them, and the price points are pretty similar, if I'm right. And McDonald's is like, yeah, more variety, and different types of stuff. Different promotions too, and they have their Monopoly thing. Little Caesars, this is a pizza place. They make some pretty adequate pizza. They make some pizza, anyway. It's pretty cheap, very low price point, which is good for a fast food restaurant. I'm probably not going to use the D and E tier too much, but anyway. I think Little Caesars, solid B tier. It's very convenient because it's always ready, they have always have something ready. And it is a pizza place, and it's a pretty good one. B tier. Dairy Queen. This fast food restaurant, it's pretty different from the other ones. It, they're known for their ice cream, believe it or not. You know, you've got your blizzards and your ice cream cakes and things. You know, they do make some pretty good ice cream. And they do have, sometimes if you go to a Dairy Queen, you can get burgers and things. And they're usually seen with a different fast food restaurant, Orange Julius. I think it's the same company because I've never seen an Orange Julius that wasn't on a Dairy Queen. And you know, their ice cream is pretty good, but it is kind of expensive. But right now they do have a promo on, it's like you get one Blizzard, you get another one for 99 cents. I kind of want to put this into the C tier just because it is good food, or not like healthy food, but you know what I mean. Good ice cream, but it's quite expensive compared to like, I don't know, McDonald's and McFlurries and things, or Wendy's Frosties. So, that's why it's going in the C tier. Burger King. Burger King is known for their 
burgers, I guess, and having like dirty restaurants. <laughs> Been there a couple times. Pretty mediocre. It's nothing really special. It's pretty much McDonald's, but the burgers are kind of I don't know. They're it's like not as it's not as good. I want to say, but then I think they're pretty much in line with DQ as long as burgers go. So, yeah, Burger King C tier. A and W got to end it off with a good one. A and W. These guys are pretty great. The front, the French fries that A and W has. If you get French fries at A and W, you can expect some big, beefy, thick French fries. These are awesome french fries. They also have the root beer company. I personally don't like root beer, but if I were to drink any root beer, it's probably going to be A&W root beer. Actually, that's the... Yeah, that's pretty true. I wouldn't really enjoy it very much because I don't like root beer, but it's a popular root beer brand, and they have a restaurant. So they also have, like, some pretty good burgers are known for having whatever non GMO stuff and everything like that and even having some vegan options and some of these other restaurants do have vegan options like you know Subway does I'm sure McDonald's has at least something Wendy's probably does they're pretty woke you know I don't know about Burger King and DQ DQ probably doesn't I think A&W solid A tier Hmm. Anyway, that pretty much wraps it up. Tell me if I missed anything, and if I need to rearrange something. And I probably won't do it, because I don't think I'll do this video, I don't think I'll do another one of these in a while. Because, you know, new fast food restaurants, new fast food chains don't really show up all that often. So anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. And subscribe if you want to.